Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Um, Malfunction here from Comic Trade, Plunge, uh, Plunge Enterprise New Zealand, of course, Plunge Comics, and um, Plunge Studios as well. So, yeah, I uh, just want to talk about one of the biggest news today to streaming. I've discussed uh, live streaming, I'm sorry, I've discussed TV streaming, you know, uh, movies and all that on here before uh, on our Comic Trade page about, you know, the changes that are coming, we saw last year with Disney coming up and going, well, we've got 500 million people coming on board. And within about eight weeks, they had dropped due to the fact that The Mandalorian did really well. And then once everybody had watched it, people bailed because Disney only had about 3,000 hours of new content. And most of it was reality TV. And, um, and they also had the problem with like uh, trying to erase Trump out of uh, Home Alone 2. So... You know, so there was a censorship going, and even this past week, they um, tried to take away Daryl Hannah's butt from uh, Splash, a classic movie I watched as a kid growing up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It was really cool. Uh, fun movie. It was, yeah, like kind of like a grown-up, um, not grown-up, but like a PG uh, Little Mermaid. So, you know, so when you have... Uh, when people see that you're you're censoring stuff they go well what's the point of buying into things i've already watched like a live stream on disney plus if why am i paying money for it and at a higher high, higher price point than you know than what um netflix is doing and netflix is doing really well so the big news today on the 27th of um, may hbo max is going to be releasing launching officially launching its streaming site they've been talking about it for uh for a couple of years now and they were really pushing it last year when the b battle for the live stream uh wars with um streaming wars was going on with apple with uh peacock and so on and so what basically happened was that uh, you know hbo max which is what owned by time warner uh started putting out the dc universe like titans and um the animation uh, i think it was um uh, Young Justice got a reboot, uh, not a reboot, a carry on to season three and so on because that's a great show. Um, haven't seen the last couple of episodes of uh, Justice, um, Young Justice, but also there was Swamp Thing and there was also, um, let's see, there was um, the, um, sorry, all the, all the other animation movies they're making. So there's a lot more new content for HBO Max to put out through Warner which of course obviously because i'm talking about dc owns all of dc right they own all that property there so they can basically put out as as many movies as possible right now especially when it comes to animation right and that's an important thing here you can as an animator you can do it from home and we've just learned this week that uh wag which is a uh, writers guild of america um america's writers american guild something like that Anyway, so no WGA uh, Writers Guild of America, right? They're the um, they're the guys who do uh, um, do the TV writing, who do like um, audio books and stuff, I guess. But mostly, uh, film, right? So all the writers are involved in that. Fine, because of the um, beer bug, they don't have jobs right now. They're, they're you know they're just on furlough, or whatever, you know, and so they're finding it hard. Uh, to get jobs because there's no, nothing being made. There's no productions. There's no you can't basically pitch any ideas out to anybody because well, there is no jobs because everybody's on lockdown. So, the, um, so basically, everybody uh, you know they got told to pop over to the animation um, um, guild. You know, go get a job over there. And the animators are going, well, why are you coming over here? You don't treat us with fairness. So why are you trying to take our jobs in this time? And of course, uh, that happened during the the writers, uh, writers. Uh, what was it? I think it was about two thousand and four or five. There was a writer writer strike, which hurt the industry really big at that time. And uh, so, and Heroes, the TV series Heroes, was really hit back at that time. It was really big. Uh, season three uh, didn't get made for a long time because of that, and it hurt the whole. Uh, property the intellectual property of that people just lost you know lost interest in it because like why well, have a year-long break before the next one's on like two years sorry usually you know you got a next year it's going to be new show is going to be on just like stranger things this year's supposed to be the new stranger things of course got to wait now to see if they if they've already filmed or not 
or what the situation with there was. So HBO, back to HBO, right? So HBO announced today that they're going to launch on the 27th of uh, a week ne from next week. Um, sorry, a month from next week on um, on the 27th of May. Now, this is official word. So this, uh, this is ABC News announces the streaming service HBO Max will launch on, as I said, on the 27th of May. AT&T's Warner Media announced Tuesday, signaling that the um, so that will be today in America, right? Announced today. So signaling that the, the so-called streaming wars won't subside because of the coronavirus um, bug pandemic. Uh, Warner Media had earlier said that um, HBO Max would debut sometime in May, and it stuck to those plans Tuesday, even if some of its planned programming has already been postponed due to the outbreak. Now, the good thing here, which I haven't mentioned is the price point. So for $14.99 a month, you're gonna get all of it, all right? So it's gonna be the least, kind of like, uh, will be the one of the uh, least expensive. Um, but I mean, they're saying here it's gonna be, will be among the most expensive streaming services at a price of $49.9, but I don't, when you think about what's on offer, it actually seems okay, because check this out. So, but Warner Media is hoping a deep library of HBO hits, including Game of Thrones, Succession, DC's uh, comics, blockbuster movies like Wonder Woman, The Dark Knight, the TV shows, including Friends and South Park. See, so, so Friends came off Netflix and it's now going to be on here. So if you're missing Netflix, I mean, missing Friends on Netflix, you know, I don't know why people have a problem with it, uh, with Friends, these new millennials, they have a problem with it. I don't. I never had a problem growing up with it. It was just funny, uh, but it was uh, the whole question was how do these people live in a such expensive place, being mostly unemployed, and low income earners, right? So that was a joke at the time. So, uh, so the expectations that all these things like South Park, of course, you know, will be enough to lure viewers who face a blizzard of streaming options. Of course, that's what I mentioned last year where there's too many things going on. And even I find that like, I just can't get around to all the shows. So I just go to anime. Oh, cartoons. I'm rewatching Family Guy because really, I just want to laugh right now. That's what everybody wants to do is just laugh, right? And uh, just get a bit of humor in our system. Uh, so new original program will also be part of HBO Max. As I mentioned, there's 10,000 hours of um, uh, material here. Although the much belly uh Friends reunion special has been delayed by the pand um, pandemic, among the fresh offerings, Love Life, a scripted comedy with Anna Kendrick, the un uh, underground ballroom dance competition series Legendary, a new Looney Tunes cartoons, and Sesame Workshops, the Not Too Late with Almo show. Now, the other thing is they're saying is Warner Media has said it will also steer some movies directly to HBO Max. The first will be the um, documentary on the record about women who have been who have accused hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons of sexual assault and harassment. Simmons had denied allegations. Shortly before the film Sundance Festival premiere, executive producer, uh, I'm not, um, producer Oprah Winfrey along with Apple TV Plus dropped the movie. So now it's coming to Warner. So I'm knocked out. So uh, Robert Greenbelt, uh, chairman of Warner Media Entertainment and director of Consumer, said Tuesday in a statement, "I'm knocked out by the breadth and depth of our new offerings." And I think they they have a lot to offer. I think, especially if you uh, want to what, especially if you're a comic book fan like me, and you want to get to the animations, uh, animated um, animated uh, movies of you know the DC universe, and they're really you know I like them. Um, they usually run about six out of ten. Sometimes they go even higher in quality. It depends on who's directing and writing it. And it's not always good writing, but you know, you get to have a bit of uh, enjoyment rather than watching the same thing over and over again. You get a new movie based on old material. Um, okay, so at and is aiming for HBO Max to reach 80 million subscribers worldwide, uh, 50 million in the United, uh, United States by 2025. HBO currently has about 35 million subscribers. So that's not bad, right? So that's a normal HBO cable. Netflix and the streaming, uh, Netflix, Netflix, the streaming leader said on Tuesday that it's reached 183 million worldwide subscriptions, up about 16 million in 20, uh, up about 16 million in 2020. Well, because everybody's glued to the TV and to the internet right now, right? So everybody wants to have a bit of fun, to just be entertained right now, not 
be you know worried about what's going on in the world and not about politics now now the next thing here is a uh, um in about six months since it's launched, Disney Plus has amassed more than 50 million. Sorry, I thought it was 500 million. My bad. 50 million subscribers, well ahead of the Walt, uh, Walt Disney Co.'s productions. But as you all know, they're, they've just borrowed, borrowed about six, about 11 million dollars, 11 billion dollars, uh, American. So that's like almost about 16 million, billion dollars, New Zealand, right? so to keep it afloat and somehow they've just said that disney uh grounds uh castles and all that uh disney world and all that um will be closed possibly until the end of the year um right so it's unclear if the timing with will help with it's unclear if the timing will help or hurt hbo max while viewership has surged across streaming services with so many quarantined in their homes Excuse me. A record rise in unemployment will make the higher cost of HBO Max, excuse me, prohibitive for some. Now, there's too much. Like I said last year, there's too much. When you have too much options, you just go with what you know. And that, like they're saying, it could hurt them because of uh, because of Netflix is already out there. It's the market leader, 163 million. They said um, across the world, and but. People will try it out. If uh, HBO comes out and goes, hey, let's do it for free for a month because, hey, you guys are stuck at home. We're just going to give it free. Check it out. And it might go into the same problem with, uh, with um, that they did with Disney Plus, right? Um, after about a month or two, people just go, yeah, and drop off. Now, if they maybe they'll give it a half, um, like half price, 50% uh, disc discount going into it for the first month. Or might, might, they might even say, hey, look, for the next six months, right, for the rest of the year, because we know you you guys are all hurting. How about we give you that? But then that could also hurt as well, right? If you give something a discounted price, people will go, well, we've watched it all for the last six months. Why are we going to stick around? And, right? It's like the only thing people, most people, fans of um, Star Wars, former fans of Star Wars, not of the new ones, watched um when, uh, came to disney plus to watch mandalorian of course they had free for about seven days or something like that um and so um seven weeks or something so once it was finished they left so of course they might come back because you know um mandalorian 2 but that depends on how good at this one is um right so um there's more and more um streaming options including uh, as I said, all, uh, like you got TV, um, Apple TV Plus, you got the the Cubo, Cubi, uh, bite sized Cubi, uh, and in uh, um, in July, MB, NBC Universal will debut the Cubic uh, Peacock, what a name, uh, and um, a, serve, a streaming service that's planned to offer a free ad supported option. I guess I guess it comes with ads, and you can get one without it okay it's like watching sky but then sky promised no ads in the start and then they start then they realized that there were not enough people so then they started putting on ads hbo max will feature ten thousand hours of programming so this is going to be from all their sectors like so they're going to have the news with uh, cnn uh, TN tnt programming the tbs uh turner classic movies cartoon network who doesn't want to watch cartoons? If you're into, into comic books and you've grown up with cartoons, you still watch cartoons with the kids every now and then, even if you're older. But me, I watch cartoons all the time because I like to have a bit of laugh. And there's some good cartoons out there, right? Uh, and I've, animation, as far as I'm concerned. Because cartoons kind of gets more... I think cartoons applies to more of the PG and lower age, whereas animation is more of the 13 plus. And I think there's some great animations out there. That's why anime is so good because there's so much you can do in animation that you can't do with movies, right? You can't just, you can draw, you draw a person within a week or so flying, right? If you're really good at it, especially with animation, we got all the people working there. You try doing that on a studio on a budget, you know, of a couple of thousand, you know, a few thousand dollars. Uh, of course, a lot of people already are doing that themselves, creating their own stuff, and which is good. I like watching the news content. That I've, I like the simplicity of the content that's coming out on um, YouTube, has been coming out on YouTube. And I think creators are so amazing, you know, trying out. I've been watching this one on uh, 
on Instagram. Uh, crazy looking stuff, very gory, but very funny. You know, uh, it's just simplified movements, and but it's just really, really cool. And also, uh, motion comics, you know, doing really well. Of course, you've got like, uh, I think it's The Last of Us, and that's a motion comic style gaming. So, you know, um, the old arcade style, but mixed in with the comic artwork. So there's so many awesome things out there. And um, and I think animation animation and anime, you know, just breaking grounds all the time. And that's why I think the idea of Warner's coming out, um, well, with HBO coming out, I think it might be the saving grace for what, um, but for DC, but I doubt DC is going to survive this too long. Um, and I think if I was Warner's, I'd just cut, cut, cut and run and just go, we got, you know, like I said before, 90 odd years, uh, 80 plus years worth of, well, more than 80 years worth of stuff, right? Uh, probably about on, almost 100, no, it's coming up to about 90 so, odd years, I think, of DC's work. So like piles and piles of comics, right? Graphic novels, boom, 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 boom. Just all I would do is if I was sitting on all that product, I'd be just free, uh, you know, just going, give me animations on this, animation of this, animations of this, series on that, series on that, right? Boom. And you got content all the time. And I think this is cool. But the price was, you know, right? It's like, are you going to, uh, is, is, uh, is Netflix going to go, okay, we're going to drop our price at this time? Or, you know, just, or keep it because they have good programming, right? Uh, Riverdale is doing well. Katie Keene uh, has started up. Uh, Stranger Things is going to be coming back soon. I'm excited about it. My family's excited about it. The kids, uh, the kids just are glued to it. They watch it two, three times. And, you know, that's, it's good. It's about us as, eight, um, you know, in our teens, us 40 year olds. Well, yeah, 40 year olds in our, in our, uh, in our young lives as, uh, as young, um, you know, preteens or teenagers are running around and they see the excitement that we had as the, at that age, which they're kind of missing because they've been molly coddled. Right. Um, and you know, the whole idea of putting a, uh, uh, a fence around the trampoline basically defines the last 20 years. And so if you look at the kids watching them, they see, wow, why aren't we, you know, why we're missing out on so much that our parents had, right. Our, our uncle and aunt's had, right. And, um, uh, that, that is what is attracting them to it. The fanfare of it all, the enjoyment of what was going on at the time, the gaming, the the D and D, the dressing up, and just being you were allowed to dress up. Now it's like you have to go to a special show to be able to dress up, right? You can't be just dressed up uh, or a special event. So that's all I got for you for uh, for this um, for this um, broadcast. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back soon. Uh, I'm going to be talking about. Um, Patreon and Kickstarter, the issues they're having right now. Hey, uh, if you're watching this on um, YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but please subscribe. Just uh, thank you for you guys that are subscribing. Been watching, uh, you know, I've been, love, um, I've been getting a lot of comments on there and it's just been really cool. Uh, thank you for your comments on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do my best to keep providing new content as much as often as possible. I've already got content for the next, uh, I think, week and a half. But I get excited about what's happening in the news all the time. And I put time aside to do this, as well as trying to do all my comic books, as well as trying to keep up with my meetings, and as well as organizing with my friends who are working on our comic books and in our company. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook right now, or later on, please uh, hook up, um, you know, all you got to go on is uh, press the subscribe button on YouTube and I appreciate it if you can do that. Get my numbers up so more people can watch it and hey, we'll, um, be more, you know, be more involved. The best thing about this thing is I, I love watching everybody else's on YouTube as well and um, I wish I'd kept at it in 2008 when I was doing it first, when I first started doing it, you know, could have had hundreds of thousands of members now if not a million. But happens right so you you just got to move on with the blow so kakite ano again thank you for watching went out and hung out with my friends today it was a beautiful day did some shopping wherever you are please be safe have, hopefully you you have all you need right now and um farewell